All right, here is the video review for the Weijang. I think I'm saying that right. Oversized uh, shine bug. I think they're calling this one Reaper. But uh, yeah, I picked it up because I wanted a second shine bug to play with, and people recommended it to me. It was 16 bucks shipped on eBay. So I figured I'd check it out. He did come with an Autobot sticker on his chest. It was bigger and sat a little lower. This is actually, I pulled that one off. This one is actually a uh, one of the Autobot logos off of the Titans Return sticker sheet, uh, which I thought fit, fit him a little better. And also I could put it on and have it be more centered than the one that came on the actual figure. So a little piece flipping up there. Anyway, but here he is. Um, he's, he's a little oversized from the original. We'll show that off here at the end. But uh, I have to say, I'm very impressed with this one just because there's some bits on here that actually work better than my original one did, my official Toy World version. So, rolls, back wheels being a bit of a patoot right now, but it does roll. Um, <laughs> so anyway, but anyway, we'll go ahead and start transforming. We'll pop the gun off back here, pop the hood up. This whole assembly comes up. You can lift this hood up, uh, lift this up turn it around, lift this hood up. And I find it's easier to do it that way because the, the first step is supposed to be to get these doors down and it's hard to do without pulling on the windows which are translucent plastic and on a hinge and I don't want to crack anything. But if you do it like this and open this up first, you've got the leverage to get in here on the plastic on the doors and open them up like that. So open the doors like this, pull the legs out, fold the windows in, flip the front parts down. These come around on this hinge here. We'll go ahead and split the legs comes around on a hinge, slides down on that pin, which then closes, and then the hinge on the other side locks into this little assembly on the other side of the leg. You flip the heel out and push the front foot down. And this is one of the things I was talking about that works better than my original. On my original, the front foot was very loose and floppy when you pulled it down, uh, whereas here it's actually a nice tight sliding joint on the foot. Flip that other heel out. And bring this piece down and around, just like we did on the other side, and lock it into place. And the legs are done. We'll bring this down, come around here, pop the arms out, pull these uh, pieces here on the back, extend the arms down. This piece right here folds into the, the chest, and then once we open this up, or we can open this part back, the uh, head flips up and out there, and then this piece closes up behind it. Rotate this whole assembly at the waist. Uh, fold this up, fold these to the back. The arms come up and around here at the shoulder. Uh, extend the arm and turn it around like this. Flip out his hand. This whole assembly comes down and up like that, at which point the wheel assembly comes in. You flip the wheel up and around until this little peg catches right here and then sits inside the forearm. Just like that. Same on this side. Open this up. Flip the fist out. This panel hinges up and around to fill the forearm. Close that up. Bring that around so it's facing forward. This panel comes up. There's a little blue panel inside the windshield here. Helps if you kind of flip it out from the underneath before you get it all the way up. Then once it's up here, you flip it the rest of the way out. This whole assembly comes up here. Pull this piece out and around like this. Snap this on to his chest here. These panels come back a little bit like this and then collapse in. Lift that up. Snap the blue tab in there to lock it in place. Push these back a little bit. And then it's just a matter of arranging the back kibble however you want. I've seen some, I've seen these swung down in here, which I feel makes the body look a little too chubby from the front. I like to, what I like to do is bring this in, collapse this piece in, and then kind of bring these panels up into this little gap right here uh, onto his backpack. Make sure his shoulders come all the way up. And there he is in robot mode. We'll bring the camera up a little bit since the top of his head's getting cut off there. He can hold his gun. And he's got all the same articulation that of the original. He's like coming loose here. Um, ah, come on. There we go. 
He's got the ball jointed head, ball joint shoulders, as well as the hinge right here, bicep swivel, hinge elbows, no wrist articulation. He does have a waist swivel here, front and back, side to side hinge hips, rotational joint, double hinge knees up here and inside the leg, and some ankle tilt, as well as a little bit of front and back ankle movement, but the door kind of keeps that from being completely awesome. Or at least articulated. It's still awesome, but it keeps it from, it limits the range a little bit. Um, I mentioned he is oversized, and just to show that off, here he is with the original Toy World Shine Bug. He's more uh, Voyager sized. He's, he's more MP car scaled, actually, in robot mode. Um, and really, like I said, the feet work better. Like you see on this one, his feet are, they, they're, they're kind of, they, they slide back in a lot very easily when you put weight on them. I do I do kind of want to get another this size shine bug uh, just because I, I, li I like the size of this one. But uh, good solid figure. My only real complaint is that you can see he's not quite as shiny gold. He's more of a butterscotch color plastic. He doesn't have quite the swirly gold that the original shine bug does. Outside of that, he's just as good. Also, he doesn't have the silver paint on his rear view mirrors like shine the original. But outside of that, it's the same figure, just bigger, and it's really cool. Um, here's a set, picture of both of them, or a shot of both of them with a Voyager Prime, just to give you an idea. And one of the reasons I like this oversized version is because he looks really good with uh, Titan's Return Leader Class Blaster. They hung out together a lot in the comics, in the old G1 comics. But yeah, uh, I'm very impressed for, like I said, $16 shipped. Uh, very solidly made, very, very nice construction. Thanks to uh, Jack, my friend Jack, for uh, pointing this out to me. Uh, Bison dollars on Twitter because uh, I was going to look for and pay for a whole new Toy World one just to have a second one to mess around with that wasn't part of the combiner. And for 16 bucks, this guy is totally worth it. Yeah, there it is. Knockoff, oversized uh, shine bug from Weijang.